Hey, Dad, what's that? Oh, that? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Seriously, Dad, what is that? Okay, this is a bridge made of popsicle sticks. But more importantly, this is a bridge that was designed by the great artist Leonardo. Oh, cool, with the Ninja Turtles? No, not from the Ninja Turtles. Aww. Leonardo da Vinci is best known as one of the great artists of the Renaissance. More than just a painter, though, da Vinci had a deep passion for learning and problem solving, particularly in the realm of science. Da Vinci was an avid inventor, well ahead of his time, creating concepts for flying machines, weapons of war, motorized vehicles, and more. One of his most brilliant designs was also one of his most simple, a small bridge with pieces capable of being carried by soldiers and assembled with no nails or ropes held together simply by gravity and friction. Now a favorite kitchen table science lesson, the Da Vinci Bridge is a design that still carries some serious weight. So the cool thing about this bridge is that it doesn't use any nails, any ropes, any glue to hold itself together. It's just held together by gravity and friction and it's pretty strong. Your mom saw a picture of one of these online and she thought it would be cool if you and I built one together. Well great, you built it without me. Well I built this one without you. But the one that I'm thinking of building with you, it's gonna be a little bit bigger. Okay, how much bigger? Like big enough for you to walk over? So life size? More or less. Yes. So what we did was we went to the store and we bought inch and a quarter dowel rods that are four feet long and then we bought eight foot two by fours, cut them in half so now they're roughly four feet and then we took a drill press and used an inch and a quarter Forstner bit, put a hole at one end, at the other end, and then on the other side of the board in the middle. This way we can replicate the pattern that we made with the popsicle bridge. When we drilled the notches into the boards, it was important to only use half the bit or slightly less than half the bit, otherwise we ran the risk of the dowel rods not fitting into the notches. So this is what we have to work with. Sam, you think we can get it done? Yeah. All right. We're gonna put one of the cross braces right here in the middle. It's kind of a tight fit. Okay, and then can you lift those sides up and see if you can get that dowel rod to go underneath Okay. Got it. Yeah. Okay, I'll sit it down. Okay, so now what we should be able to do is lift this up, put two more side pieces on, and then add another cross brace on top. All right, so let's get those. At this point, I felt pretty good about what I was remembering, but I'd soon realized that we weren't making a bridge, we were making a ladder that would only go sideways. So, go get two more side pieces. I'm gonna lift this up. Okay, I'm doing something wrong. I'm doing something wrong. Are you sure? Yeah. So I knew I did something wrong because when I picked up that end, it didn't get any higher. According to that diagram, I wasn't putting it together right. We gotta try again. This one. Uh, up yeah, one. insert joke about typical male not reading the directions okay. here. From underneath? See, I had forgotten that you take the side piece of the next section and weave it under and over the two cross pieces of the first section. Otherwise, you're not building a bridge. This piece should become the middle brace and should sit in that. But once we figured that out, we got our groove back. Okay, so get me two more side pieces. Slide it underneath. It's okay. Alright, so you know what the next one does? Yeah. Go under. Okay. You got that? Oh, you okay? Sorry, ooh, got it on your foot. My bad. Comes next. Under that? Yep. Oh, wow. 
Oh, pal. Bridge is getting pretty tall. Get it up against this beam. You can't have it that far apart. Oh, sorry. There you go. There you go. Now let's see the beam. There you go. You slide it under. I think this should be our last one, Sam, because the further along we go, the less, balance we get. The less it's fitting together right. So I think it's time to test this thing out. Okay, but I think it looks like a bridge. Don't you think it looks like a bridge? Yeah. Can you hold my hand while I'm getting... Yes, I will hold your hand. I am going to fall. So this is the moment of truth. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't break. Hopefully it doesn't fall over. Mm. Because one of the things about this bridge is it has very strong stability when it has downward force. But when it has lateral force, it just falls right over. Mm -hmm. So try to stay in the middle and I'll hold your hand, okay? <laughs> Oh Hold on, stop, 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 stop. This is scary. Okay. Stand on the next one. All right. Stand on the next one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Keep going. Yes. Yes. It worked. We did it. So I think it would have worked better if we didn't build it on a slight hill. What do you think? You think I could get across it? Here, you come stand right here and just... At this point, right people right in the park started wondering what in the world we were doing. We built a Da Vinci bridge. It's a... Uh, it was designed by Leonardo Da Vinci, and it's a bridge that uses no fasteners. It just uses gravity and friction. Hopefully, I don't kill myself. <laughs> it's gonna fall under your way. <laughs> I don't even scary. <laughs> yes. Woo! He said it, 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 it was designed by uh, Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah, yeah, it was for like, he made it so that soldiers would, uh, if they came across an obstacle, that they could all be carrying parts of the bridge, yeah. put it together, get across <laughs> the thing. They take it back apart. Right. right. Yeah, I think if he was going to level play, I think it was set. I think it's a good thing. What do you think? You think we could, in one piece, get it up onto that sidewalk? Maybe. A little flatter? Some folks even offered to help us carry it to a more level spot so it might be a little bit more stable. Surprisingly. And honestly, who could resist walking across this thing? <laughs> Yo, Alex, I can tell, I can tell it's dead, it holds. It's a little nerve wracking, but. Now that was a lot of fun. I like how when we built it, people from around the park started coming over and asking questions and wanting to climb on it and see how it was built and how it worked. That was pretty awesome. What'd you like about it? I liked being able to go across it without it falling down. <laughs> it was kind of scary. Yeah, I like climbing on it without it falling down too. That's a pretty good thing. Now this one is not scary. This is the Popsicle Stick Da Vinci Bridge. If you'd like to learn how to build that, you can just do it at your kitchen table with your family. Uh, I've put an Instructables link down below where you can see how to build the Popsicle Stick Da Vinci Bridge. And maybe you'd like to give the full size one a try, but just be careful. Yeah, be careful. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Yeah, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification icon so that you're up to date with all of the latest Hey Dad Hey videos that come out. And leave us a comment to tell us whether or not you've ever tried the Popsicle Stick Da Vinci Bridge, or the Pencil Da Vinci Bridge, or the Full Size Da Vinci Bridge, or I don't know, maybe you can find something else to make it out of. Just be careful. Yeah, seriously, be careful. <laughs> I think we did that part already. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I was just going with the flow. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Sam.